day of bales. Here we, here we go. What's up guys? We're here in Mammoth. First day on the mountain, just getting ready. Got the tea rice ready to go. And the boys are here. Hey, what's up, Rob from Sporter X, hey, man? Hey, I'm, I'm excited, I'm stoked. Pro Camp, we need you. What up, guys? Stoked for a week to collab with everybody. It's gonna be rad. So many hugs going around. Yeah. Everyone's hugging, man. We just can't stop high-fiving. You taking the price tag off? Yeah. <laughs> So the storm hit Mammoth about 12 hours uh, later than it said it would, so we're just getting it now. Did the wind knock out of you? No, I, do, I got some whiplash on my head, uh, but I'm okay. Okay. Sandbox. Yeah, no, it looked like a, a nice kind of snow covered platform. And then as soon as the board hit it, it's an, it was an uneven rock. So it kind of clipped my edge out from under me. looks nice. So we're on a mountain we've never been to before, above a steep face that we can't see the bottom of, and TJ's, TJ's happy about it. Once you, get, once you get down, you can't get back. Oh, actually, it's not that bad at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got the line spotted. Looks like Kevin's already taken to that T-Rice Pro pretty well. Not bad, a little bit of a late start, but finding some good tracks. Awesome. Yeah, there's some fresh powder out there. We found some pockets. It was cruising, it was awesome. Made some turns, it was dope. Lucky to have a couple guys, Austin and Kevin, showing us around, super key. TJ, how's your first time snowboarding in California? A lot colder and wetter than I thought it would be. Yeah. But it's pretty fun. I think, yeah, once this terrain opens up, it's gonna be a lot of fun. The snow's actually pretty heavy here today, guys, so we're gonna give you Five tips for riding through that heavy, wet snow. First thing, I feel like speed is key. You wanna keep your speed up just to get uh, across any flat areas and just avoid having your board get stuck. TJ, you got some tips, man? Yeah, so I would say uh, more so with regards to just staying dry and warm is to make sure that you have gear that's okay to take out in that cold, wet, heavy weather. So I would say uh, Gore-Tex layer if you have it, or at least 15K waterproofing so to make sure you're staying nice and dry. Tyler? So basically what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna make sure, they always talk about waxing your board. Don't, you don't even need to do that. Don't even worry about that. And you wanna make sure that when the powder is the thickest, you just lean 
lean forward as much as you can get as much weight as you can just right on that nose just dig into the dig into the snow because that helps you float a little better and then dig in that nose just dig yeah. it you just want to dig it dude just dig, dig it that, yeah on that last lap, I actually felt myself almost go forward a few times, and it was because I was let, letting my weight go forward a little bit. So this next run, and for you guys, definitely just get that weight onto the back foot. Even if the snow doesn't look deep, you may just get you know, sucked into that quicksand heavy snow, and if you got your weight back, it'd be totally fine. So for those of you that are gonna try to make a true twin snowboard workout here, I know you guys are out there. Set your stance back. If you're riding on a, on a powder day, especially on the wet, heavy snow days, set your stance back and it's gonna help you stay on top of that snow way better. So those are some tips, guys. I hope they help you guys out. We're gonna continue to ride and just make the most of this. Tyler, any final words, man? I mean, you know, just get that, like, get a windbreaker. That'll get you, and wear, dude, you know what? The coolest dude I saw on the mountain today was wearing jeans, just jeans it up. And if you wanna take it up a level, Cut off jean shorts, bro. I'm telling you. The top of the chair is coming. We gotta get ready. See you guys. Listen, listen to me and my tips. Just like ride through that little gap in the trees, just like ding, pit through there. Actual cliff. Yeah, I think I see a spot. You okay, man? I think I pulled my hammies, both hammies. <laughs> oh man, that was scary. I was coming up, I was like, oh, I'm going way too fast. <laughs> and uh, at that point it was just too late, so at least I didn't hit a tree. Yeah. That's what happens when you send things blind. Nice. One of the challenges with riding a new mountain is not knowing exactly where to go. We've gotten stuck a few times. Hopefully just uh, learn from our mistakes and not get stuck again. This is like the new mountain growing pains. We have actually done that twice now. Boom. That's it, that felt great. Guys, nailed it. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, that's One, two, three. Oh. Teamwork! <laughs> Teamwork makes the... He pushed me earlier. It's a day of bails. Like, that wasn't the best setup, I will say that, but I thought I could get onto the tree and I just clipped it. 
That's what you do in powder. Brad first day in Cali, sunny days.